energy vibration um, reading for the Libra Sun Moon Horizon sign. It is the first week of November 2017, and the week begins from the 30th of October until the 5th of November. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a wonderful, positive, positive week. I'm hoping because we have the energy vibration of. Uh, um, the nine of cups which is your wishes and dreams are coming true this week is a fire week it is a week of the um, wheel of fortune so um, good for you guys your wishes and dreams are coming true but yet still it has the zodiac energy of water so we have to be aware of this we have to be um, yeah this is a week of sightful this is a week of listening to your intuition whatever is happening for you guys it's going to be a week where transformation is happening okay so for you liberals um, your wishes and dreams are coming true let's look at your week you have the three of uh, cups which is going to be a celebration on Saturday whatever is happening to you on Saturday it's going to be a wonderful celebration um, the number nine energy it's going to um, uh, happen there is going to be an ending to some situation relationships for some people and situations for some people there is going to be an ending to that okay we have the page of cups on Thursday Thursday seems to be carrying a wonderful energy vibration we have transformation it is a week of transformation we have the energy of two major arcana whenever major arcanas come in the week it is saying something it's supposed to be a very lucky week but as I look at your energy vibration your wishes and dreams are you know coming through because the nine of cups is always the energy vibration where you are realizing that certain aspect of yourself certain things that you wanted certain um, things that you wanted to feel in your life is going to really happen in this week so whatever is happening um, with the energy of the nine of cups it's all about your wishes and dreams your materialistic needs and your physical happiness is one of the most important so wishes do come true and um, whatever is happening it is going to be good for you in this week because it's the week of the wheel of fortune so but it is Halloween and I want to say happy Halloween to everyone out there on Tuesday the 31st of October it's going to be Halloween it's one of my favorite favorite holidays because I like to dress up so this is going to be good and Halloween is that you can be who you want to be and for the rest of the people who are not celebrating Halloween this week is going to be love celebration is going to happen on Saturday this celebration can have to do with the king of cups the king of cups is someone who is at a, a, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion okay you have the eight of ones the eight of ones is a lot of information a lot of text messages love is coming in because um, you are going to be connecting with someone who's going to be texting you librans uh, and bring in you a lot of information a lot of text messages I seems to be seeing a sort of an energy vibration that is coming up for you librans uh, okay whatever is happening um, it's a feminine weekend it is a weekend um, the Pope the eye princess um this is good because um your spirit guides are coming in your spirit guides you are going to be connected with your spirit guide so for the people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension what is happening is that you are going to be connecting with your spirit guide some of you will be connecting with the soul family um the number four for swords you need rest on Tuesday for the people who are not doing Halloween's you have the five of one conflicts and you need um, to have rest on Thursday you have the page of cups and there is a sorrow so there's a new love there's a loss there is a loss in a new love that is happening um, for some people you are going to feel as if you're a failure on Friday something happened um, a loss that you um, so it's it's a, it's a weird week for you guys because we're having the the number eight is going to be very very visible. 
I have a double whammy of debt and transformation. I will look at the debt and transformation because that is the crowning of your week. You have debt twice as the crowning of your week. I seems to be having these double whammy as I'm working with my ages and guides the last time, especially coming to the end of the year. I did tell you guys that from July, a lot of changing, a lot of new energies are coming on this planet and a lot of things are coming in. And what is happening here is that you have debt twice as the, um, as, as, as you know, debt twice, but debt is transformation, but yet still debt. So I'm seeing passing over to the spirit worlds of, of, of kids. It could be kids, but it could be a spirit that came here for a short time or um, spirit that is moving over. There is sorrows. So there is going to be debt in some people's life, a situation where someone is going to pass over to the spirit world and there is sorrows. I am seeing that is someone who you loved very much, whatever that was happening. It is someone who you loved very much and they are going to be passing over to the spirit world. So be aware of this. That is going to be happening. Some people are going to um, hear of that in this week. It's going to be between Wednesday and Friday. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a situation where the loss of something, the eight of cups and uh, you have the loss of something and, um, failures to information that is coming to you whatever this is all about it's going to be okay because it could have an effect for a transformation a transformation is good sometimes information you feel as if because you have the seven of Pentacles seven of Pentacles is not failure seven of Pentacles is that you're waiting on something okay eight of cups is as if you're moving away from something that no longer serve you and you might feel that on Friday it's a failure because you you know people will be receiving message on Friday and you feel as if it is a failure this message that you'll be receiving on Friday is a lot of text messages um, that you'll be receiving from Friday from someone who's a queen of cups and the queen of cups is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion you'll be receiving that message it's a sorrowful thing because you feel it's as if she is um, ending a relationship with you whatever has happened um, um, it's as if you are feeling a failure and this is for some men out there um, it can affect some women if you're vibrating with a, a more masculine energy it would affect you and uh, um, this the, you know this is happening for you but yet let's look at your reading on Monday you have the energy of the hermit the energy of the hermit is uh, want you to go within and find your true light the energy of the hermit is saying to you you need to connect with your inner guides you need to connect with your mighty I am present call upon your mighty I am present self and ask him to take over and show you what is it you feel a loss of something and he um, and your mighty I am present self is saying um, there is nothing that is a loss because really and truly people you there is nothing that is a loss it wasn't for you let it go move on okay so whatever you're feeling on Monday and you're feeling as if you know it's a loss I you know I expected that this would have worked out and that sort of a thing it wasn't for you um, there was just a lesson that you um, needed to learn and this learning that whatever it was whatever that is going to help you to empower yourself is going to happen because the yellow is Archangel Uriel with the energy of your solar plex chakra you, you, yeah your solar plex chakra so what is happening here is that you have lost your personal energy and you need to call up on your mighty I am present self to help you to heal this so this is going to affect a lot of people because I'm seeing the energy of the masculine and the feminine energy being affected with this as we move on we have the five of ones whatever the situation is on Tuesday happy 
Halloween for the people who are celebrating Halloween on Tuesday you have um, the five of ones conflicts this conflicts um, and you have the four of sword there's a conflicts whatever the conflicts is you need to take time off and you need to rest okay there's a lot of conflicts there's a lot of situations that is going through you need to remove yourself from whatever conflicting situation whatever conflicts that other people are having or whatever conflicts people wants to um, do for you on Tuesday remove from this find some inner peace and rest find some inner peace and rest in the middle and the crowning of your week you have debt twice as I've said there is information here whenever dummy wobbles whenever two doubles comes up in my reading there's always the universe and this energy this is a major arcana debt is transformation debt is bringing something to an end some people are having the debt of someone in their lives that someone it will be passing over and some people have the energy vibration of situation transition transition so let's say you were going through you know an horrible situation in the sense that things were happening um, that was spinning you out of control it is going to come to an end okay because whenever the energy of that comes in that means that whatever it is transformation debt is also new beginnings because when people die you think that you know they're gone but it's a new beginning for them and this is why we need to let them go whenever people passed over the spirit well we need to understand we need to remember the good things that they do remember the nice things that they do because it is a new beginning for them and it is a transformation for them also and it is a new rebirth because whenever you move out of this hurtly body your spirit continue to live forever okay and you move on to something else into another place that is what you choose to do and where you want to go so this energy of debt and um, for some people that is always new beginning new rebirths and transformation and this is what is going to be happening for you guys it's just transformation but for some people uh, because on Thursday the following energy is the energy of love so it can be the end of a relationship and it can be the end of a relationship with a child who is um, a, a, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion but it could be a situation where your child is sick or your child is passing over but it can also be the end of a new love affair okay so there are different different aspects that is going to affect you it depends on who you are because these are general readings whatever it is there's a you're you're feeling a sorrow you're feeling you know I'm so sorry that this happened but as I've always said when these things happen you just have to understand that there is a lesson in there that you need to learn there is a lesson in there that you need to learn on Friday we have the eight of ones the eight of ones is coming in with failure and the seven of Pentacles whenever this energy comes in it can be that a lot of people are, you know sending um, you know negative energy uh, information to you and uh, speaking a lot of you know because you know if you have a business and that sort of a thing people could be giving you and, and you know the thing about it is that you need to understand that um, whatever people do this thing is just out of the form of jealousy do not feel as if you have a failure or whatever people will be sending you messages like that because they realize that they can't take the energy from you that they wanted to do sometimes in business like as if I am so busy um, the last couple of weeks and I have so many reading that's blocked up and I need to get done and I apologize to people and I send them an email some people you know react in whatever way but the thing about it is that um, like I have a full-time job and plus I do these readings so if people and this is how you should look at things if people tend to you know I can't wait then okay it's fine maybe I'm not the right person for you so look at things like that that's whatever happened in the messages that you're getting that's you know do not take it it's just that some people sometimes have a sort of a way to deal with certain things 
we're moving forward and on Saturday we have a celebration and the celebration that you have on Saturday you be could be connecting with someone because the energy of the eye princess whenever the eye princess comes up is your goddesses the goddesses and the ascendance masters and, and your angels and guides the female deities is coming in to work with you and they want to connect with you so there could be a revelation that you realize that oh my god I have this gift for you know your spirit guides which is your goddesses and angels of the feminine energy because they carry a feminine energy vibration will be connecting with you and realizing and showing you you know you have the power to change certain things but use it in the right way they could be coming in to give you a message to let you know that whatever is going on in your life you know there is a lesson to be learned from this because it's all about learning lessons for you liberals in this week on Sunday we have the energy vibration of the King of Cups and the Princess of Swords whatever the situation is is that this could be a situation that you have to deal with your husband and your child you know or this could be a situation with you and your father let's say that you're between the ages of 18 to um, 18 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 30 to 35 and you have a situation with your father this is a situation that needs to be ill whatever the situation that is playing out it needs to be healed okay this can be a situation that you are having a relationship with someone who is either um, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion be aware because if you mess with this person um, the universe is gonna mess with you okay so let me rephrase this um, if you think you can manipulate this person and do whatever you think you can to this man who it can be a scorpion because I'm feeling for some people it's a scorpion or it is a Pisces or whatever you have a guest coming because the universe is going to move you and move you to places that you have never been before because they're going the universe is going to come in and teach you a lesson whoever you are okay so be aware of what you do because if you think you can hurt this person um, you are going to realize that uh, this person is spiritually protected by the universe and the gods and the, and the guides and they're going to make you um, make you think as if you would never you should never have done that okay so again you seems to be the person who is messing with a scorpion man and you need to realize because you're a Libra and I see this coming up with these scorpion men be aware of what you do because whatever you do will come back to you we are going to move forward because we are going to look at the energies that is going to happen around for you Librans. so it's a week of a lot of you're clearing up a lot of stuff that is going to come in some people are going to be learning of that uh, in the family whatever that is plain um, the angels and guides are going to try and connect with you and they're going to try and help you there is a lot of sorrows there's sorrow maybe a lot um, some of you are going to have um, an abortion um, some of you are going to have miscarriage this is what I'm seeing death transformation baby it's always um, abortion or miscarriage okay and whatever the information is whatever it is um, you need to be aware of what you give out some of you are really in denial whatever the situation is you are so much in a denial and you need to get out of this denial a lot of you people are in denial and especially people are going to be in denial and I'm seeing this happen that a lot of people a lot of you liberals are going to be in denial with a situation okay not seeing and not want to accept okay not everything is in reach 
my child sometimes I must create distance between what you want and when or who you are meant to receive it consider the weight for your highest good you're not meant to achieve what you want right now keep the faith for if you wait and and show patient you will receive whatever you were waiting for this is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desires to reach your goal too soon you may choose sorrow sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy in this case you alone know when the time is right patient my child patient whatever the situation is you need to have patient okay and letter from the universe let's see what is the letter from the universe let's call up on the universe and see what is the letter from the universe this is the back of your card which is a very beautiful card you have purple and green I like the energy of purple and green because some of you need healing and it says do wealthy people have to spend all their money no um, to feel wealthy no that's silly they don't even have to spend a cent do they yep that's it that's true that is so true this I have never received before this is wonderful so whatever the situation is you Libran this is a positive energy to end this week and I'm going to say to you guys please remember to listen to your Sun moon horizon sign and um, have a wonderful Halloween um, thank you for the support and the sharing and the likes. Welcome all newcomers. Namaste until next time.